Fun fact, I never touched grass in a month, but this video isn't about fun facts about me. It's about fun facts of the strongest battlegrounds. Like for example, if you use Starcode Floaty, you become a pro. But I already know you guys know that because you guys use Starcode Floaty, right? Right? But yeah, today we're gonna be going over a bunch of fun facts, and some of these facts are funny, some are pretty interesting, and some are just weird. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this banger video. Alright, fun fact number one. There is a moon under the map. So if you actually go into free cam mode and go under the map, you should be able to see a moon. And there we go. So I don't know why the moon is under the map instead of being on top of the map, because uh that, that's that's how the moon works, right? I don't know, but it looks like there is a moon under the map, and bro, what the heck is this? Why is there like a bunch of random smoke over here? Right, so I don't know what's going on, but there is a moon under the map, and uh, it's a pretty interesting fact if you guys did not know. Fun fact number two, you could get behind the barrier in ranked mode by using this emote. Alright, so here we are in the ranked lobby, and as you can see, there's this barrier over here which doesn't allow you to go down the stairs. But what we have to do is go over here in front of the wall, and one of your friends have to use an emote called Traditional Duel. And if you press emote together, it should teleport you on the other side of the uh, the barrier. So you can literally just go down these stairs, and uh, let's go ahead and see what's down here, bro. Oh my my god. Alright, so as you can see, we are literally in the middle of space. So we're literally in the abyss, and uh, what you could do is actually jump off. Um, wait. Wait, do I, do I just keep- Oh, I died, okay. Alright, so the next fact that we have here is you could get on top of the map by using omnidirectional punch on top of a trash can. You could actually do this in a private server and in a public server, and just to make things a little more real for you guys, I'm gonna join a public server and try to do this in a public server, okay? Alright, so there we go. We just got our ultimate mode, so let me go ahead and pop that real quick. And what you want to do is find any trash can, preferably one of the ones at the corner of the map, like this one, so you could actually go on top of the wall. So what you want to do is actually go ahead and hop on top of the trash can, and then just use omnidirectional punch. As simple as is that wait um okay i think that was a bad trash can let's go ahead and try that one more time oh yeah we also got a subscriber in the server as well so shout out to my boy and now ladies and gentlemen it is time to go ahead and try this all right it looks like there's a tatsumaki chasing me as well so this is perfect all right while i'm getting chased or oh, actually wait i'm gonna wait for him to come near me bro as you can see the tatsumaki is literally running towards me so this is my chance to escape so i'm gonna go ahead and use the omnidirectional punch and come on and go on, come on come on come on and there we go all right ladies and gentlemen we have made it on top of the map and uh, you know what's crazy about this imagine you had a kill streak and uh, you run away from everybody trying to steal your kill streak by going on top of the map. So this is actually a really good thing to know if you are trying to run away from people because uh, nobody else could get on top of the map unless they do the same thing that you did. And not a lot of people know about this. And speaking of getting on top of the map, that actually brings me on to the next fact that we have. You could get on top of the map by standing on top of a stone coffin while a Saitama uses a serious punch. Alright, so the way this one works is Saitama has to use a serious punch while you go on top of the stone coffin, alright? So we're gonna go ahead and put, a, we're gonna go ahead and put down the, the rock and uh, now... If he uses a serious punch, we should be able to get on top of the map. And oh, no, we were so close. All right, I think we got to try that one one more time, all right? All right, so he started using serious punch. And now we get on top of the rock. Come on, go ahead and punch me. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it on top of the map once again, all right? So if you guys don't want to use Saitama to get on top of the map in a public server, you could also use Tatsunwaki by using that stone coffin technique I showed right there. Fun fact number five, kill bricks still work on giant players. Alright, so as you can see, we have a giant player over here, and if he touches that- Oh my god! Yo! Bro, why did he fall like that? What? Um, so yeah, as you guys saw, kill bricks kills anybody no matter what their size is, so even if I go up to this kill brick normally and I touch this kill brick, it should kill me. So yeah, if you guys are ever wondering if kill bricks work on any type of people, it actually does. So the more you know. And now let's move on to the next thing on our list. The weakest dummy respawns in 5 seconds. Alright, so here we have the weakest dummy over here. And bro, what happened to this guy, bro? Why is his suit like all ripped up? And bro, what is that face? What, it, why, what is what, what happened, bro? But anyways, let's go ahead and try this out. So as you can see, he's pretty much full HP right now. And let's actually go ahead and kill him. One more punch. One more punch. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Okay, he spawned right there. So yeah, if you guys were ever wondering how many seconds it takes for the weakest dummy to respawn, it is five seconds. So like I said, the more you know. And now let's move on to the next thing on our list. So apparently there's 408 tiles in the middle of the map. So I don't know who took the time out of the day to count all of this, but what we're gonna go ahead and do to confirm this is doing some science. <laughs> So hypothetically speaking, if we count how many is on this side and how many is on this side, like the length and the width, we could calculate how many tiles there are. So let's go ahead and calculate this, all right? So one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, so we have 28 tiles going this way, and we have 17 tiles going this way. So if we go ahead and pull out a calculator and do 24 times 17, we do indeed get 408 tiles. So if you guys were ever wondering how many tiles are in the middle of the map, now you know it is 408 tiles, okay? Fun fact number eight. Eight. Death counter has no range. So pretty much you could use death counter from all the way on that side of the map and somebody could hit you from all the way on that side of the map and it would still work. So I was going to test this out. All right, so as you can see, my friend is all the way on that side of the map over there. And what he's going to be doing is using Genos' flame wave cannon to hit me on this side while I use my death counter. Oh, I see. I see the orb coming. Oh, oh, it's coming. It's coming. And there we go. Oh my God. All right, so we literally death counted him across the entire map. And like I said, guys, death counter has no range. So even if I decided to go further than that, I mean, to be honest, you can't even go further than that, bro. Like, that is where the map ends. So if you guys are ever wondering if Death Counter has a range, it does not. All right, so the next fact that we have on our list here is you could go into creative mode in this game now. So if you guys own a private server and have the private server plus commands, you could do this. So if you actually go into your private server commands thing and go into build mode, you literally go into a Fortnite creative mode and you can actually do a lot of stuff here, bro. You could actually go ahead and place some stuff down like this. Like, you, you know, you could build and stuff. You could actually actually like resize some stuff as well so you could make this bigger you could make it longer you could make it thicker you could make it sh okay pause bro what <laughs> what am i saying but yeah, you could actually go ahead and change a lot of stuff and you could actually like configure them as well. So I can make this wall do a bunch of stuff. I could change the wall's color. So if I want to make it red, if I want to make it green, orange, whatever I want, I could change the color. I can make the wall a kill break. I can make the wall bouncy. I can make the wall fragile. Like whatever you want, you could change it to. So if I were to make this wall bouncy, so the wall is now bouncy. So hypothetically speaking, if we go up to the wall, it should bounce us away. So oh my god, it actually does, bro. What? So if you go up to the wall, it literally just like flicks you away so i feel like things in this game are gonna get a lot better like you could actually like pull off some like really fun like mini games with this like imagine making like two castles a castle over here and a castle over there and people literally have a war like that would be so sick um so yeah man there's a lot of stuff that you could pull off with this new build mode thingy and it's pretty cool man so now let's go ahead and move on to the next thing on our list you could still spawn outsiders in your private server so if you guys don't know what outsiders are it's pretty much the npc bosses that you had to kill 11 times in order to obtain the strongest egg and the strongest egg yolk so if you go into your private server plus commands you should see a option right under dummies that says spawn outsider so it literally just spawns an outsider anywhere on the map and uh yeah you pretty much could fight it again but it doesn't give you anything like in, in private servers it literally does nothing so i could literally go up to this thing and death counter it so go ahead and hit me and there we go all right so we just caught the outsider slipping with a death counter and uh all i gotta say is r i p and wait wait what bro what how did he just survive my death counter and now let's go ahead and move on to the last and final fun fact on our list here. If you actually go into the cosmetics tab over here, you're going to notice that there's a lot of capes that you could get. And most of these capes require you to get a bunch of kills like all of these ones over here. But did you know that you could actually get a free cape by joining the group? And to do that, it's very simple. So you're going to see the game and it's going to say by yielding arts. So all you want to do is go ahead and click on the group and you're going to see the group and all you want to do is press the join group. Once you join the group, you should be able to rejoin the game and equip that cape. And I'm not going to lot for a free cape it's low-key kind of drippy man it looks like levi ackerman's cape from attack on titan so yeah that's pretty much all the fun facts that we have in today's video if you guys have any other fun facts or fun secrets drop them down in the comments down below and i'll definitely do another part of this where i go over them so yeah once again thank you guys for watching the video all the way to the end and i'll go ahead and see you guys all in the next video